نقشبندی کمانڈمنٹس دی وی ٹو مالا حضرت ابد خالق گزدوانی رضی اللہ تعالیٰ نے پوائنٹڈ آؤٹ ایٹ پرنسپلس اور کلمہ ایز ایسنشل ریکوائرمنٹس فار دا سیکرس لیٹر آن تابہ الدین نقشبند رضی اللہ تعالیٰ نے ایڈیڈ تھری مور بیسڈ آن نمبرس ٹائم اینڈ ہارٹ ٹو دس آئی ہیو ایڈیڈ ون مور کلمہ ایز دی بک آف صوفی شکر اللہ تعالیٰ Out of these kalma, I have used the insight to present as essential meditation for seekers along the path. These have been designed as meditation technique for different seekers and also as a stage of transformation. This is an active meditation. It has five stages. Starting at the body level, This meditation takes into account the seeker at different levels. Stage 1 Body Meditation This involves conscious breathing for 10 minutes. Your body is the miracle of the existence. It can create harmony if you allow it to express itself. Breathing is the language of the body. Through conscious breathing, you are connected to the unconscious layers of your being. Each moment that you live and interact unconsciously, all such moments get stored into your unconscious, which is your memory aspect. It is your unconscious that comes to the surface when you interact each finite moment and you are not even aware of it. Many times a situation has come, it triggers something in the unconscious and we say things which are not needed at that time. Things which are not called for, things which are not associated with that particular situation. Introspect on such moments and you will know and then slowly and slowly you will be able to see that all this that happens at that moment surfaces from your deep unconscious and subconscious layers. Your conscious mind is only one-tenth of the total capacity and the remaining nine parts is your unconscious layer. Conscious breathing alone is not enough to enter this thick layer of your being. If the breathing is rhythmic, you will remain on the surface as most of you can be a little bit relaxed. For instance, using some of the techniques of rhythmic breathing will not help. And this will make you just a little bit relaxed onto the surface and nothing more. It will be like adding perfumes to the body that has an offensive order. Yes, conscious breathing is necessary. However, the number of breaths per second has to be more. Only then you can penetrate the unconscious layers. And the layer is not only one that you can very easily remove. There are layers upon layers. And these layers have accumulated over a span of lives. You have to breathe consciously but not rhythmically. When you breathe chaotically, only then you can enter the unconscious layers of your being. Imagine, when you are angry, your breathing is not rhythmic, instead it is chaotic. And there are moments like these when your breathing is not rhythmic. If you go into the chaotic breathing, for instance, when two people start making love, their breathing is very haphazard as they engage in the process of love making. So through that haphazard, through that chaotic breathing, they enter into the realm of rhythmic breathing and this makes them blissful. So the journey has to be going through chaotic breathing but this has to be conscious 
that you are doing this chaotic breathing. Not that when you are angry, the words start fumbling and you do not have a control over it. This is not conscious. Knowingly, it is like that. Knowingly, consciously getting mad. You are doing the acting of madness, acting of anger. Anger comes in a moment and you are not even aware when anger grips you. Now you have to reverse the process. You are going to act being angry at your spouse. Imagine there is no spouse. You are standing in front of the mirror or you can take simply an image. You will recall when the boxers prepare themselves for a particular bout. They keep their boxing pillow or whatever they call and they give it a name. Consider that as the opponent and then they start punching it. This is how they train themselves. If you have anger against any person, make that person a symbol. You can hang something like the boxing, I do not recall what it is called, pillow or something, book bag and you hang it. Consider it to be your spouse and start exhibiting your anger onto that. People go in the gyms to work out, but if they work out consciously, then it can help in releasing those tensions that are there in you. So when you start making love, your breathing in the beginning is chaotic and then slowly and slowly it ends up being rhythmic. When you breathe chaotic, only then you can enter the unconscious layers of your being. Chaotic breathing is somewhat like fire breath or Kapalbhati of yoga, wherein you have to throw your breath forcefully. Chaotic breathing is even stronger than that. It connects you to your unconscious layers. For body meditation, chaotic breathing is the first step. Through chaotic breathing, first you are connected to your emotional layer. Many emotions you have suppressed and these continue to plague your way and deprive the inner serenity. You have to begin the meditation at the level of the body that's where you are. This is done through conscious chaotic breathing. As you breathe chaotically, your body becomes alive once again and you continue this breathing for 10 minutes minimum. In the second step, you have to live those moments consciously. Only then body can be freed of these needs. It is not like once you do. It has to be done on a certain period of time. Just as every day you take a bath, as because as you interact, into the world which is full of dust and many things, sweat and so body accumulates, offensive orders and then you come and take bath again. Meditation is like taking bath at frequent intervals and then a situation comes, then body a consciousness develops filters on its own and then immediately when things are happening the filters begin to work and the negative aspect of those circumstances or situation do not filter into you then one day you can go beyond both positive and negative this is trans meditation begins with the mind, then you have to go beyond the mind. 
mind creates both negative and positive poles when the two neutralize one another only then there is a light light is nothing else but transcendence or neutralization of the two opposite forces negative and positive look at your electric bulb it has a positive current and it has a negative current as well the negative pole when the energy flows from positive to negative can it balances one another or neutralizes one another at that point when there is an equipment in between that can transmit the light that is thus created in the same way first mind creates positive and negative energies through consciousness you neutralize the two energies or balance one another then a serenity or blissfulness becomes your way and it manifests through your gestures through your behavior through your words through your very presence your word is your presence your silence is your presence your gestures are your presence when you are full of passion your gestures your eyes movement will all be guided by that passion that is developing within you when there is inner serenity there is blissfulness then this will be of a totally different kind of a look for instance when you are hungry you are not satiated within your eyes will always be searching that which is lacking within you you are desirous of getting a particular piece of equipment wherever you go your eyes will be searching something that is there within you but if you are just going with no desire within you will enjoy the shopping mall even more otherwise your eyes and mind will always be focused on what you are missing so first of all in the process of meditation the negative you have to bring on to the surface through chaotic breathing you are going into those layers of unconsciousness which surfaces even without being called for and then consciously you are dissolving these then the negative and positive neutralize one another and in that very moment the light happens and that light is the ultimate flowering of meditation